The watch that's in effect for the area. Uh, the area in yellow, that is a tornado watch, and that is in effect until 10 o'clock. And that's been issued for far northeast Oklahoma, down towards Stigler, McAllister, Poto, northwest Arkansas, southern Missouri, Tulsa. Not included with that watch, just east of the area as a cool front continues to slide to the south. Now, live radar right now showing some pretty intense thunderstorms in northern Osage County. These storms are moving to the southeast towards Copan. They're not severe, but they have the potential to produce some large hail. So let's put a future scan on. This is going to take this over the next hour. You can see eventually these showers and thunderstorms will spread to the southeast with time and eventually into Bartlesville by about 614. What we are watching though for is the potential for storms to develop out ahead of this cool front. Basically, in this general vicinity right here is where we're watching for thunderstorms to develop. And right now, down the Shakota area, we have uh, Mike Scantlin, one of our lead chasers out in the field at this time. Let's check in with Mike as we look at his shot at this hour. It's calm in Shakota. Got the traffic going, Mike, but uh, we're wait waiting for some storms to pop up. Give us your analysis. Yeah, Mike, I'm actually uh, just south of Tahlequah here. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> right, we're 62 meets 82. Just kind of watching some stuff to the southeast and uh, a couple things off to the southwest as well that didn't really survive. So. Just kind of watching things bubble and seeing, uh, just, just watching and waiting to see if anything can go up ahead of that front, Mike. Uh, but so far right now, nothing bubbling of, of high interest at this current time, right? Nothing at all. And that's good. Good. So far is good, good news. And we'll be watching that. Of course, if I, uh, we go back to radar, we've got Scantlin right here marked on our radar just south of Tahlequah. Sager is down the Shakota area. Uh, but again, all is quiet in Tahlequah, but if that changes, we've got our chasers out in the field watching this very closely and monitoring it. We will be doing that through the evening hours. Temperatures are going to return to the hot and humid sector over the next couple of days. Heat index value back up to 110 on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So get ready for more heat and humidity to build back in the area. And we have that chance for more thunderstorms entering the picture for Saturday and Sunday. So those hot and humid days with some isolated showers and thunderstorms, about 30% chance of that occurring. So we look ahead to the weekend, 97 on Saturday, 97 on Sunday, slight chance for thunderstorms each and every day. Otherwise, it's going to be hot and humid. Right now, it's humid, uh, really warm. Temperatures in the upper 80s. That's our high so far today. South winds at 5 miles per hour. Humidity at 68%, dew point in the mid-70s at this hour. Tomorrow morning, upper 60s. Not a bad start to your day. Uh, not bad either by afternoon, upper 80s for lower 90s for this time of year. Not too bad whatsoever. So we have the chance for storms this evening, mainly east of Tulsa. That will wind down by 10 o'clock. And then a few more storms early Friday morning. Then again, late Friday night, Saturday morning. Then again, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Monday morning. Temperatures do cool down some Monday and Tuesday before heating back up. We'll have much more on those chances for storms this evening when we return.